Hello everyone. Today I just want to work on a couple of pages in my um, 2020 usual scraps journal. I've got quite a few bits and pieces that need finishing off and I've got some of um, Laurie's tags um, that I've been making as well that um, I want to pop into the journal itself. Now I'm going to start off by doing something with this um, tag that I popped um, into the pocket um, here and because this um, page or this whole spread is around the piles of paragraph um, pages that's what um, I'm going to use let me just pop that to um, one side for a second I've got a piece of mixed media paper that I had left over from um, another project and I've cut it to just fit um, inside um, the craft cardstock here because that's the theme that I've got going with all of the tags that I've currently made and I've decided that I want to use some of the leftover pieces hang on let me just pop my journal up a second oh we've got um, a sequin that's um, fallen off from somewhere um, but these are a few a tiny few of the bits and pieces that um, I've got left over from one of um, Laurie's other kits Th this might even have, have been from a couple of kits I do believe that that one was from um, the April Easter kit I don't think I'm going to um, use that today um, but I quite like the idea of using these greens here because of course they tie in um, with the spread that I've got um, already so what I'm going to do, um, let me just grab some um, ink. Hold on, bear with me. Let me just get myself organised. Now, I think um, I had inked around the edges in the Memento London um, fog. Um, and so I'm going to do the same again. I've already done it to this piece of cardstock here, but I just want to do it to the white um, just to frame frame that. So And to tie the two pieces together. So I'll just ink around this one here and then we'll try and tie in these leftover bits and bobs and see what we can come up with to fit that page so that instantly um, looks better then I've got um, a piece of cream um, cardstock left over so I'm thinking we can maybe add that with perhaps that um, on top there I think this was out of the um, March kit um, I've also got these two pieces of, of green here and I'm trying to think how I might possibly be able to use those. I'm not sure I really need those. I like that one there. This one here is just um, a bit too too bright. I'll ponder, ponder on that one. I might be able to use that for, for something um, else. I've also got the postage stamp that um, I chopped off the envelope and I quite like the idea of having um, that there like, like that. Um, so what I'm going to do um, is just, I want to keep this really, really simple. I haven't got um, a great deal to um, play around with here. I'm going to ink around the edges of this one here as well. Now I think I'm going to have that stuck down there like that but what I want to do before I do anything is just stick this down as a tab onto the top um, so I'm just using my three in one to do that there we go um, so I'm just going to apply that to the tab, uh, top of the, the tab like this again as I always do I just want that to be slightly um, proud just because I really like the way that um, that, that looks um, so that's going to go there like like that and then I can maybe um, use this particular um, thread as as a, a hanger just to you know give me some fibers coming out of the side of my tag I quite like the idea of that um, but I'm going to um, glue this down as well whilst I've got my fabric tack to hand I'm just going to stick that on there like that so plenty of glue around the outside a tiny weeny bit um, in the middle that should do fine and I'm going to stand up to do this oh hang on and I'm just going to stick that down like like that I think I like that um, there and then I'm just going to use a glue stick and I'm going to have to be really really gentle about this so I'll apply some glue in the middle first because this is really fragile um, tissue paper and then I'm just going to pull it out to the edge like this um, let me just get rid of those um, those fibers please don't let me tear this you know how clumsy I can be sometimes here we go and which way round do I want that to be it doesn't really matter we'll have it this way this way up and I'm just going to centralize that on that cardstock I've got a bit of wiggle room I can see that it needs to come over this way just um, a smidge 
and I'm just going to use my lollipop stick which is my favourite burnisher at the moment um, just to burnish that that down so that's what we've got so far and then I've pulled out um, one of the Tim Holtz um, wildflowers and I'm just going to pop that um, as my focal image and I just think that that's just really simple but I just love how that um, how that looks. Now I've just got um, a simple white eyelet and I want to use white because I've got white on the opposite um, page here so I am just going to punch myself a hole. Um, let's just do that there like that. I think that's fairly fairly central there we go that will do um, and then we'll squeeze our eyelet in if I can grab hold of it there we go be careful Nina and I'm just going to squeeze squeeze that down oh I've squished it hang on let me just remove that right try again I think these are the eyelets that um I are causing me a bit of a, an issue they're obviously cheap ones I've got no idea where I had them from um, and now I've managed to lock my crocodile as well there we go let's unlock that and try try again and I'm just going to squeeze that really gently just a bit um at a at a time there we go that's that's fine so there we go, not perfect, but certainly good enough. Now, because this fibre here is so thick, I've got um, a makeshift um, needle. This is just a bent over piece of wire. And I'm just going to use this to um, thread the fibre through because it's so thick. I know that I'm going to have um, an issue with this. And there we go, piece of cake doing it, um, doing it that way. Um, so that's my, my fibre and I just think that adds a nice touch to my tag. So now I'm ready to glue that down um, as well. So back in with the Fabri-Tac. So we'll add a small amount again around the outside here, going right to the edge and a bit in the middle. My wonky hand has gone over the over the edge and I'm just going to stand up again and um, stick that down and try and be as central as I can about it about about there like that and um, then I just want to add this um, fabric here this netting um, th this was the one that got lost I'm sure it was in the Easter um, set and I think what I'll do is I will add um, some glue stick just over this here which should be enough to stick that down and I'm going to add the netting which will just give me a little bit of, of texture here we go we'll tap that down um, let me just find my deli paper Let's give that um, a bit of a burnish and make sure that, um, that that's stuck let me hold it onto it I don't know whether you can see that there. It just adds a tiny bit of texture. You can see the shine from the glue. We should lose that soon. And then I just want to glue on um, my wildflower, something like that. And, and this is just from um, the Tim Holtz Wildflower Die Cut um, set. Um, I punched a, a load of these out for another project a, a few months ago. And I just think that will work really, really well. So again, whilst I've got my Fabri-Tac out, um, let's just stick a bit down on the back just to the um, denser areas like this we don't have to have it absolutely everywhere a bit on the stem so that that doesn't um, come unstuck there we go that should that should do it and then I'm just going to stick that down there like like that and that's just a really simple tag just using the leftovers from Laurie's tag kit and just you know a die cut that I'd already cut out I just love that and it just works absolutely beautifully because all the, the colours and everything tie um, in together um, with the rest of the spread so that will be tucked in there like that now I can see on my desk um, that I've got some sequins left over from the um, pack let me just have a look do i want to add any of these do i want to add one to the center of the flower that actually looks really cute doesn't it or do i leave it plain oh my gosh i can't decide i can't decide i'm just going to think on that for a second 
Now I've decided I'm just going to leave my tag um, like that. I like the simplicity um, of it and I don't want these sequins getting caught every time I pull this um, in and out. Let me just straighten my, my pages um, here. So that is going to slot um, into the side of this envelope here like that. Um, but I do, and I really like the way um, that that looks when it pokes out, but I do want to trim these fibres. I'm going to trim them there like that. And how cute does um, does that look? So I'm really glad that I've been able to use some more of um, Laurie's Bits and Pieces. I just love how that spread looks. I've cut these um, tails short as, as well. Um, right, sorry if I sound as if I've got a cold. I've just walked away and chopped the onions for dinner tonight. So of course I've been crying. Now I want to add one of my other tags. Where's it gone? To this pocket here just because the colours just work absolutely beautiful. So that one's going to go in there like um, like that. I just love how you can see that poking um, up at the top. The colours just match absolutely perfectly. So that's where that one's going. And then I've got um, a butterfly here because I know that um, it was bothering Lynn and she left a comment saying, you know, that my eye is really drawn to that number six. I can't say that I really noticed it, but, um, but there we go. I think sometimes I'm just so in the zone that I just don't notice um, these things. So I'm just going to glue that down with some um, matte medium if I can get the lid off. Hang on, let me just um, grab myself a paint um, brush. Oh, gosh, nearly had a spillage there. So I'm just going to spread that out like that. Now I've kept the um, three layers um, intact on this here and that's deliberate. And it's just so that it's not um, quite as translucent. Um, and I'm hoping that by um, adding layers of matte medium over the top, it's going to hold it together so that the layers don't um, don't come apart. We'll we'll see. Um, so I'm just going to pop that on there, like like that. Make sure I get the body of my butterfly on. I'm just going to apply some more matte medium over the top. Just be careful. Um, with this, it needs to go a bit higher. That's not working. Right, hang on a second. Let's just manoeuvre that um, a bit. There we go. That's um, that's better. So we'll have it um, over the fabric um, as well. And as I say, I'm just hoping that um, by adding matte medium over the top, it will just hold it um, down so that the layers don't um, don't come apart. When that's dry, I'm going to have to um, draw myself some. Um, antenna but um, I can't do that um, uh, until it's dry so we'll just um, just leave that for um, a moment I'll just um, oop, heat set that I think with my my heat tool so that's um, dry now so let's just um, draw the antenna I cut those off just because they were too fiddly to um, fussy cut so we'll try and make those the um, same like that that will do fine there we go, maybe a bit thicker and that will do nicely. So there we go, that's um, covered up that, um, that six. So that's um, that page um, done. So I'm just finishing off bits and bobs to um, start off with. I just love how that spread looks. I think that's my favourite one so far. Now, flipping over onto the other side of the page, of course, I glued down the um, ghost images of the um, butterflies. Um, of course, I fussy cut my um, butterflies out of napkin. And of course, they're three ply. So um, th these butterflies here that you can probably um, barely see are the underlayers of the napkin. And one of you um, lovely people suggested um, that um, I use use iridescent um what you call it, embossing powder um, to add to the top of these. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my Versamark embossing pen and I'm just going to go over um, the butterflies like this. I shall do it one by one. Um, so we'll just go over the wings like, like this. Um, and then I can sprinkle um, my iridescent stardust embossing powder. This is um, a, a make called Fun Stamps. It's really, really old. Um, this was part of a set that I picked up secondhand from the scrap store, but they do uh, still sell that brand um, on eBay. So if you're interested in some, um, have a look on eBay. Fun Stamps um, Stardust Embossing Powder. 
Um, and I'm just going to go all over my butterfly like this. I'm going to have to go off camera and do this because I can barely see um, where the butterfly is because it really is at the moment a ghost um, image of it. So I hope I've um, got most of my butterfly like like that. Let's just do one and then I'll do the um, others off off camera. So here we go. I've got a piece of paper to um, catch the excess um, dust. Here we go, give it a good um, shake. Am I in camera shot? And I'm just going to sprinkle it um, over the top of the butterfly that um, I've just added the embossing ink to. And I'm going to tip that upside down like that. Oh, just look at that, look at that, I love it. Um, and then I'm just going to remove any of the excess powder that's accumulated as it usually does around the edges. I should have gone over this with my um, embossing buddy and I forgot. Um, which is just um, an anti-static um, duster type thing. And then I'm just going to um, heat set that with my heat tool. And isn't that just so pretty? I just love that. So I'm just going to do that to the rest of um, these butterflies. So my butterflies are all embossed with the embossing glitter. I just love how that looks. Thank you, thank you to um, the lady that um, suggested I do this. I can't remember who it was who, who left the comment. Brilliant, brilliant idea. Now, what I want to do um, is just um, add some shading around the outside of this flower just to bring it um, to life. Um, the same as I did um, on the other side here. And I'm using my Neo Colour 2s. Um, so I'm just roughly adding sort of darker colours around the outside like, like this. Being really loose and scribbly, um, as you can see, not being perfect about this um, in any way. And I'm just going to add some more colours as well. Some of the green, because I just think that will look really, really nice. And this probably looks awful to you at the moment, but um, trust me, it will be fine. So I'm just going to add some black as well around the um, absolute outside. Trying to keep within the wallpaper. This flower um, is just a, a piece of wallpaper that I fussy cut um, out. And I'll leave the link to the playlist as well so that you can see all the previous pages. You'll be able to see how I made um, this one here. Um, I think I'd quite like a little bit of blue as well just around the front right, so i've just put some spray water just plain water in here it's had glue in it previously which is why it looks a bit strange because of course these are, are water soluble and this is just as you can see just a, a cotton bud there we go and so i'm just going to do this all the way around can you see that gorgeous gorgeous um deep deep blue i just love how that looks and the green as well pulling that green um, into the equation as well and then I'm just going to bring in a little bit of white as well just to add a bit more contrast just in the centre here like like this and I'm just going to rub that in with my with my finger I love how that looks right okie dokie so I'm happy um, with with that I just want to add um, a quote now I've out um, a stamp. Um, in fact, during coronavirus, this is just a great opportunity to just go through your stash of all the things that you've bought and never used. And I've got this um, crafter's companion um, that I bet you I bought when I was um, out shopping with my friend um, Mel. And there's the perfect stamp in here. Um, your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. So I'm just going to grab some um, black archival ink. Now, because this was a brand new stamp, I've already um, seasoned it by just stamping um, it off a few times. And because um, I've only um, managed to achieve one um, perfect image, um, what I'm going to do is stamp it onto a piece of white cardstock and cut it out. Um, just, I don't want to make a mistake um, by stamping it directly onto my page here. So in fact, what I'll do um, is apply the um, ink. This is stays on in jet black directly do the stamp like that and then let's just stamp, stamp it onto this piece of black cardstock and just hope 
I can get myself a good image. I'm just going to hold it down for um, a minute or two or a few seconds even just to make sure that um, ink grabs. Um, there we go. I'm going to do it one more time just to see if I can get it um, a bit darker in this area here. Just making sure that I apply plenty of ink. Press that down. You don't want to press too hard when you're using um, silicon um, stamps like this because um, you just end up smudging um, the image. There we go, that's perfect. And of course, I couldn't resist doing one more, although um, I do like that second one I did the best. So I'm just going to trim, trim this out. Um, and I'm going to take this off to my paper trimmer just because you know that it will bug me if it's not completely straight. So I've cut my quote out um, and I've also cut myself um, a piece of um, burlap off this ribbon roll here um, because I'm going to mount it um, on there. But what I want to do first is just ink around the um, edges just because this is just way, way too white. And so I'm going to bring that right um, into the centre of my quote like, like this. I'm using um, Distress Ink in Frayed Burlap. So that's not too dark. That's just um, adding a nice vintage um, tinge. I like how that um, looks. Um, so that contrasts um, much, much better. And then I just want to um, attach it to my piece of um, burlap. And I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac um, to do to do that. Oh, hang on, the lid is welded on. So we'll just apply some over the back like that. There we go. And then I'm just going to pop that onto the piece of, uh, of burlap. And you see that then um, ties the page um, in with the quotes that I've got on the other side. Let me just stick this down and I'll show you um, in a second. I really like how that looks. Um, but can you see how I've done the same um, with this size here, this side here? Now, I couldn't use the same um, ribbon because it just wasn't um, wide enough, but that definitely ties it together because I've used that um, ribbon here. So one page then just follows on um, to the next I'm just going to straighten that up a bit because that's um, rather, rather wonky. I love the frayed edges. That's um, that's really cool. And again, I'm just going to use some um, Fabri-Tac just to stick that down. There we go. Stick the lid back on there. And where do I want that to go? Um, I'm going to stand up to do this, and I want that to go about there, something like like that. I don't mind it overhanging um, the butterfly, that's um, that's okay. In fact, we can have it just slightly further further over. I really like that page. Um, now, the only thing I want to do now is just um, ink around the edges as well because it just all looks a bit too um, white. Um, I might use some espresso truffle um, to go around this afterwards um, as well. So there we go, there's that finished page um, and I'm really happy with how that looks. So what I want to do now is work um, on this page here um, because I just feel that um, my tag um, could go somewhere um, like that. I just absolutely love the um, blue next to each other. I think those uh, those two go really, really well. Um, so that's why I want to um, have it there. And I'm just thinking as well that I want to um, fold this page um, just to give it um, a bit more interest. There we go, I've done it now. And in fact, what I'm going to do is take that page out just so that um, it's easier to, to work on. So let's just pop that um, to one side. Um, so there we go, that just makes it um, a little bit easier. And in fact, actually, if I fold that um, over there, I know what um, I'm playing with. I can perhaps put um, a piece of paper as well um, under just to disguise that, um, just to neutralise everything. And that will just make it um, easier to, to play with. So what I've decided to do, I've pulled out a piece of vintage um, ephemera and I'm going to use this just because the colours are just absolutely perfect. Look, it just pulls out all the purple um, that's in here like that. I just love that. That's perfect. Now, where does this date back to? Huddersfield, Halifax Building Society, um, 29th of October, 1956. And so I'm just going to glue that um, on there like that. Oh my gosh, what, um, what a lucky find. I've got all kinds of receipts and bits and pieces that... Um, I've collected 
in my stash and it's just so good to be able to use them in this um, vintage um, journal so we'll just here we go glue that down like like that hang on let me just find another glue stick i'm at the end of, uh, of that one there i don't want this coming coming unstuck there we go that will do and i want that lined up at the at the top there like like that there we go and that will flap um over like that and so i'm just going to um trim this down the side so I'll just trim this with my scissors like like this. And then I need to decide whether I want to add um, anything else. To be honest, um, that um, Easter tag is quite busy um, as it is. And so I don't want to add too much um, to it because I don't want it to be um, too, too busy. Let me just open that up just to make sure that I'm getting right to the very edge. There we go. And we'll do the same on, on this side um, here as well. Collage um, is just like a jigsaw puzzle. It's just, you know, going through your stash and just finding the right pieces with the right colour just to try and bring and pull everything um, all together. I just love how that looks. Here we go. And so... That can go on there just like that i just think that's gorgeous i love that now before i glue this down i just want to put this page back um, into the journal like that just because i think it's easier to see how it's all going to um, fit together um, and i think i'm just going to leave that um, as it is so bring in the fabric tack and that's how I shall glue it down. I'm not going to uh, bother gluing this flap down because this will hold it all together um, anyway. I have plenty of glue like, like that. There we go. And stick, stick that down there. Do you know, that could not be more perfect. I'm so happy um, with that. Right, okie dokie. So let's pop um, this one back um, into the journal. It's funny how things just all of a sudden come to um, come together. So love that. Now I want to work on, where's the vintage um, tag I did the other day? Here we go. Here it is. I just need to find a place now for this one um, here. Now I flipped throughout the whole of the journal um, and there are plenty of places where, where it could go, but I just really like it here um i like the size of the page um there's so much going on with this tag um anyway it's so beautiful i don't want to take away from that so i'm just going to be really boring and pop it right there so again i'm just going to glue that down um with fabric tack so we'll just apply plenty all around the um edges i just really like it um right there there we are and so we'll have that one right there like like that so i've inked around the edges and um that's that page done as well i just really like those together and it feels so nice as, and substantial as well really happy um with that so next i want to see what i can do with this page here and i'm going to um take it out to make it easier to work on um and I just need to have a think. Now, I've um, dug out this, this flower here from one of the Tim Holtz sets. And I just really like the way that that looks. But um, this white background here, this manuscript paper, is just a little bit too white. So I need to decide what um, I want to do with that first. Okie dokie. So I've made a decision. I've got this stamp here. Um, you've seen me use this before. Let me just um, pop it on a piece of uh, white paper. This is um, a do craft stamp and do crafts have gone out of business as we know. Um, again, this stamp is available um, via Amazon, I do believe. Really inexpensive here in the UK. I think this is $7.99. So you still can get hold of this. Now, because their manuscript paper here um, is grey, I'm going to use um, memento ink here in London fog and I'm just going to use this um, music sheets with the roses just because I think that's um, really in keeping so I'm just going to stamp that um, here like this if um, I miss parts I'm not bothered um, I just want to add just a little bit of interest 
um, to the top and I'm just going to apply that um, at the top there like that press that down that's cool um, and I'm going to do the same again and you can barely see it but it just adds just a bit um, of something just a bit more um, interest to to that page I'm going to do the same down here as well so you can see I've just continued adding uh, my stamping and I'm really happy with how that looks. It's just added some um, background um, interest, just um, a little bit. And so I want to glue that down um, there like that. I'm going to, in fact, what I think I'll do is um, ink around the edges of this first. Um, let me just grab my other memento ink because this little mini one is um, really drying up now. So I'm just going to ink around the edges. Um, and then I'm just going to glue that down um, with a bit of fabri -Tac. There we go. And then we can just pop that in place. And I want that to go about there, I think, like, like that. And now's the time just to rub off any of that um, excess glue. We'll just rub straight, straight off like like that. So I love how that looks, and I found this to go um, in the front here, um, just on the flap of the envelope. This is a Tim Holtz um, piece. So again, I'm just going to ink around the edges just to frame it um, like like this, um, and then that's going to get glued on there like that again just um, with some fabric tack and then I just want something to go um, inside the um, envelope so I need to have a route through and see what what I can find to add to that and that's another page finished and I just love adding all these elements because they just make the journal so um, interesting so let's glue that on there we want it like that okie dokie so i found the perfect thing to go um, inside my envelope i found this piece of ephemera here that i had in my stash um banquet of september 1889 um i've got a piece of coffee dyed paper that my friend betsy doodle um sent me a long time ago a piece of cream cardstock and i'm just going to glue these together but what i'm going to do first is just um ink around the edges just to grunge them up a bit um, and of course frame everything it always looks so much better um, when you've done this I'll do this to um, all of the pieces including the coffee dyed paper so here we are we have our menu um, and I've just pulled out one of the Tim Holtz um, chit chat words um, chit chat quotes hold on tight to your dreams um, because of course we're all stuck in lockdown um, but it doesn't mean that we're never going to have dinner parties and garden parties and that kind of thing um, again does it and it looks as if she's dreaming here she's got um, her father by the looks of it um, holding onto her shoulders I just love that um, image um, so that's going to go in there like that so you can see I've just stuck this down with fabric tack um, inked around all the edges Edges, um, including the back and that's going to pop inside my envelope like that and so that is another um, finished page I love that that's beautiful now I'm back the next day and I just want to add two more things to this page I've pulled out two butterflies that um, I just think will finish um, things off nicely which ink do I want to use I'm going to use my distress ink I'm only going to um, ink around this one here just to get rid of that um, that white border um, not deep enough let's um, bring in the espresso truffle that's better there we go this is slightly um, glossy cardstock this is one of the um, Tim Holtz um, butterfly collections um, from one of his ephemera kits so whilst that's drying let's um, peel this one off in fact I found actually with these um, stickers here it's easier to do it from the um, back and here we are we get there in the end so I'm just going to have that there like that um, that's just made a bit uh, a big difference just you know little touches here and there just um 
finish your page off really nicely and for me you see I'm the type of person that I walk away I come back and then I think mm, it needs this it needs that I'm not one for just sitting down um, in a whole session I just don't work that way it just doesn't work um, for me I do a bit walk away then come back again that's just the way um, I am so I'm happy with that now I just think that looks absolutely lovely um, and that's what's inside my flap isn't that just so pretty I love that really happy with that um that page now i just want to do one more page um in my journal and i want to use this page here because as you know um i always like to do something during the month um using the prompt that we've got going on in the facebook group and the prompt this month is boho bohemian now i've got this um vintage um fabric label um that's the original and i've just popped this um into my photocopier and i've shrunk it down just so that it will fit this dates back to the um 1920s i just think it's absolutely um, gorgeous. Um, I think this background paper here is absolutely perfect. Now, I've got this um, legal document on the back. And if I fold that over, I just love the wax um, seals that you can see. I just think um, those really add to the um, page. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is take um, this page out to start off with, if I can get it out. And I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to glue um, those flaps down um, like that. So there we go. That page actually looks a lot more interesting um, doing it this way. I'm just going to fold that and burnish that down um, as well. I really like how that looks. Um, so that can go back inside my, my journal. Let's pop that in like, like that. And I think that will just add a really nice backdrop. There we go. I just love that red. Isn't that just, um, just lovely? Now I've pulled out, um, a few other bits, um, as well. Um, I, have been fussy cutting some of the mandalas and, and shapes out of this piece of paper here. This was from the paper pad from the craft consortium that you've seen me um, using throughout the month. And I pulled out a couple of shapes that I thought um, would work really well in my journal. So now all I've got to do is decide what I want to use because I'd quite like to have something um, just on the side of the page here. Um, but the trouble is I just can't decide what um, to use. I think what I want to do is just fold um, this one in half for a second. Um, let's do that. I've just fussy cut these out of that, um, that paper. I just want to see which one works um, the best with um, the focal image. You see, I really like that there. Um, I also like that there um, as well. I like them all. This is the this is the problem. I've got that one there as well. Mm. Oh my goodness me! I wish I could hear you shouting at me, telling me which one um, you prefer. I think it's got to be um, this this one here. Yeah, I'm going to stick with them um, with this one just because we've got the orange here, which um, picks out the orange there. Of course, we've got the orange which ties all of, of this together as well. So yeah, decision made. That's what um, I'm going to stick with. So let me just move my journal out of the way. Let's um, glue this in. Um, again, I'm going to use glue stick, but because because this cardstock is thicker, um, I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac um, as well. So we'll apply the glue stick um, first, just concentrating on the edges a bit in the middle and then bring in the Fabri-Tac um, as well. And that should make sure that that's held firmly in place. And then I'm just going to pop that in the, in the centre like that. Just make sure that um, I've got it centralised because, as you know, it will bug me um, if it isn't. So I'm happy with that. Um, that was definitely the right choice to make. Now, Alex has been busy um, quilting and he's um, given me the challenge of using some of his leftover bits and uh, bits and bobs. Um, and because I've managed to chop the gold off the top, I think when I scanned it in, um, I hadn't got it quite to the edge. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of, of this. Let me just um, trim it. There we go. Um, just to pop over the top like that. And I want this 
nice raggedy edge um, at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to stick that down. I think that will um, just, you know, add a nice touch um, to the top of, of that like that. Um, so I'm going to use some um, Fabri-Tac um, for that. Let me bring back my, my deli, deli paper. So I'm just going to add a small amount just at the top like that. And where's it gone? So I want that just there like like that with just the gold poking up at the top. And then I'm going to add some um, Fabri-Tac just there like that um, as well, just so that I can fold that um, over and stick that down as well. And then I just need to hold that in place for um, a second or two until that um, glue grabs. So I'm ready to glue this down now. I've added just glue stick just to the white area and um, just a smidge of Fabri-Tac across the top. I'm leaving the overhang because that um, looks like a banner to me and I just really like how that um, that looks. I want that there like that. And then I've pulled out another piece of the um, Tim Holtz ephemera. I've got this here, um, L Principle um, Handmade. Um, of course, it makes no sense, um, but the colours just work really well. And I just like how that looks um, added to the bottom um, there. Let me just get rid of, I've got some glue that's um, got onto that. Let me just um, remove that. And so um, I'll use Fabri-Tac just because um, this is slightly thicker. So depending on the thickness of, um, you know, the bits that you're adding, just choose your glue wisely. Um, quite often, you know, a glue stick is all you need. There we go. So we'll add that. Um, in fact, before I glue that down, I wish I'd um, just inked around the edges. I'm just going to do that um, very, very quickly before the Fabri-Tac um, dries. And then I'm just going to pop that down there, like that. You see, I really like how that looks. Let's just um, finish that off really, really nicely. I absolutely love how that looks and I've decided I'm going to add um, another one on the other side. Um, that's another fabric label that um, I had. I think they came in a set of five or six and I've just stacked them down temporarily um, with that repositionable glue and photocopied them. Um, so that's how I've done that and shrunk it down to the right um, size. Now, I think I quite like the idea of um, having the red tape across the top of this one too. Um, just to make it look um, more cohesive and more of a set. So I'm just going to glue that on in exactly um, the same way. So I've glued my red um, trim on here and I've just been playing around with this part here. Um, I've just inked around the edges using some of the Espresso Trouble, uh, Truffle Memento ink and I'm just thinking that I can maybe add that onto the bottom. I really like how that looks. I'm going to chop these bits here off because they're um, in the way. So there we go. And I think I am. I think I'm going to add that um, to the bottom like that. Let me just try and get it um, symmetrical. And then that will just um, form my little banner on the page. I really like how that um, that looks. Now I just can't seem to bring myself to stop. I just love how that looks, but um, I am just inclined to finish off the centre as well. Um, I've cut another one of these um, mandalas out. Um, it's just um, a section of it. And again, these are all from this piece of paper here. Um, this was one of these mandalas that was in the, the, the centre here. I'm going to ink around the um, edges just like this, just to finish um, that off, grunge it up a bit, just to stick with that um, vintage feel. And then I've got these um, sections here from the other side of the paper. So that's from, from this one here. And all I've done is fussy cut um, these parts um, here. So this again is from the Crafters um, Consortium. And I'm going to have those there like that. Um, so that that is just one continual um, piece. I just love the way 
that that looks. It's just sort of like a, a banner inside the page and I just love the simplicity of it. So I'm just going to glue this down. So I've popped my page back um, into my journal. I just love how that looks, but um, this page here needs to move. Um, I just feel um, that that just goes so much um, better. The colours tie in um, better. And this is the joy of having elastic. If you don't like the way that something looks, you can do some jiggery pokery and move everything around. Around. so I'm happy with that I'm going to have that there like that I like seeing the two ladies together um, so that's that and then I just want something that's more in keeping to go on um, this page here so I'm really liking that so far I've got no idea what um, or you know if anything I will add to the um, center of this maybe I'll find some words just to add to that but I'm calling that done um, for today so as I've said I'm done for today um, this video is quite long so apologies um, for that although I do feel as if I've achieved quite a lot now when I was tidying up I found another one of, of these cutouts and I've added it um, further into the journal let me see if I can find it here we go because I just think it's really nice to have um, repeat elements just to tie things together this is another piece of that um, cardstock just in a different um, size and, and shape and I just think that's um, a nice touch um, but I hope you enjoyed um, all the things that I've put together today and it's given you some ideas for your own journals let's just have a flip through again just to see what I've been up to as always if you enjoyed the projects um you know i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and stay safe everyone take care and i'll see you all again soon bye for now